Hi, my name is Chris Kuzmi. I am a longtime member and current president of the New York City Home Brewers Guild. Been home brewing since about 2001, and I love it. I'm a crazy addicted to it, and I'm happy to share it with you today. I'm also part of the New York City Degustation Advisory Team, which I formed with my partner Mary Izet, nycdat.com, and I'll be showing you how to homebrew today. Cheers. What is wheat beer? There are lots of different kinds of wheat beers, like Dunkelweizen. Dunkelweizen is a really dark, malty, or banana style, clovey beer. But when people hear the word wheat beer, they typically think about a Belgian wit, which generally are, are made with coriander. Um, there's a lot of spiciness from, from the yeast that's being used. Or Hefeweizen, which is an unfiltered uh, wheat beer from Germany. Uh, there's a Weiss beer, there's an American wheat. All of these have different, different flavor components, but um, there is no one single type of wheat beer. A lot of uh, French saisons or Belgian saisons use a percentage of wheat. The, the percentage and dominance of, of malted barley and those merit that, that it's not a wheat beer. Although a lot of beers will use wheat in their recipes and their, in their total grist. Belgian wits and Hefeweizens are some of my favorite breakfast beers of all time. With omelets and eggs, I think they're awesome and shine. Sometimes also the coriander in a Belgian wit dances with white chocolate in, in a way that's really, really lovely. Um, but really, when it comes to pairing beer with food, there are certain guidelines, but no rules. Because also within every style, everybody makes their own interpretation of that style. And so the varying degrees of hops, the varying degrees of sweetness, the varying degrees of, of, of dryness, you can you can you can make blanket blank statements about styles, but you can't. But they don't always hit because of the varying ways that brewers, the creativeness and ingenuity of brewers within that, is vast. <laughs>